There are a few software shortcuts that can save you time when programming the PFC 6000 series fire alarm control panels. In the points section, you can change the function of multiple points at one time. To do this, select the top function and then hold the shift key down and select the bottom function. So you're selecting the whole list when you use the shift key. If you want to select individual points functions, you can use the control key to individually select points that way. So either shift or control for your selection. I'm going to select the entire list. Once I've selected that using the shift key, um, it's highlighted blue. I then right click over it and I can select the function that I want to change it to. So I can select, for example, Gentex Sync. Moving to the naming, I can name these. And when I hit the enter key, it drives me down to the next custom message spot. So I can quickly type in custom message for each point and by hitting the enter key it drives me down to the next point to enter the custom message. I can also select multiple checkboxes at one time by selecting the top of the photo list here in the checkbox section holding the shift key down and selecting the last one and then I right click over that and again select check making these all alarm verification. I can also select unchecked if they were to not be alarm verification. That's again using the shift key to select the entire list. I can individually select by holding the control key down and I can individually select again hover over that area, right click and select check to check multiple boxes at one time. Using the control key I can individually select every other contact input module here right click over them and select what they actually are. In this case we'll make them a water flow. The other corresponding point with those we will make tampers. Again selecting them individually using the control key, right clicking over them and bringing up the function list making them contact input tampers. I can also copy and paste using control C and control V. So if I know that this name is going to be used more than once, I can highlight it by clicking on it, hold the control key down and press the letter C for copy, go down to my photo area and hold the letter hold the control key down and press the letter V for paste. I can do this multiple times to quickly and easily fill in the name section. This also works for copying the function. So if I know I have multiple water flow and tamper sets together. I can highlight both of them by using the shift or control key so they're both highlighted. I hold the control key down, hit the letter C for copy, come down to my unused points and I can go ahead and highlight the unused area and hit control V for paste. And this will automatically put the function in for those points. Moving to the zone section of the programming software, there's a few shortcuts here as well. For one thing, we can select multiple points from the points list to drag into the assigned zone. So you don't have to individually drag points into the zone. So I'm going to hide my unused points. I have all of those water flows and tampers that I just added. We're going to add those to the to this particular zone. So I click on where it says built in SLC, hold my shift key down, click on the last one on the list. I can easily just drag that entire list over so I don't have to individually drag points. So for example, I can make my fire drill zone, so I add a zone, so zone 2 is going to be for a fire drill, and I know that I just want to have my notification in there, which happens to be at the top of the list, it's next 1 through 6, so I get those all highlighted, either by using the control key or the shift key to select them all, and then just drag and drop those, so I can drop multiple points into a zone at one time. In my zone 1, I have several points that don't belong here, all these tampers, so I can select those with the control key and I can right click over them and remove all of those at once. So I don't have to individually remove points. Now to make my tamper zone, I'll add another zone here for tampers, so this will be a supervisory zone for tampers, and to quickly find the tampers in this list, they're all highlighted pink, but what I can do is I can filter by function. So I go where it says function, I left click and hold that down so I can drag that function bar around, I get it in the group by area, I drop it in here, it's now filtered by function, so here's all my tampers all listed together, so then I can highlight all of those and drag and drop them into the tamper zone very easily because it's found them for me. Again to do that I'll drag this back out down here, this resets the list, 
click on the gray bar, gets rid of the group by area. Again, I'm going to filter by function to try and find all those tampers. So I grab the function box, drop it in the group by area. It's found all my tampers for me quickly and easily. So I can go in here and highlight them all by using the shift key and then I just drag and drop them into my zone. So I don't have to hunt and peck through the list to try and find them. Looking at my points list, I can easily see what zone this point is assigned to by clicking on the plus sign. This tells me what zone it's assigned to. I can remove it from the zone by right clicking on it and just say remove from zone. So I can remove the point from a zone in the points list. The plus sign just tells me what zone these points are assigned to. I can also select multiple zones so I can be looking at all my zones at one time and I can go ahead and check and uncheck boxes easily here or compare them. So I know that I have an alarm, a fire drill, and a supervisory zone. If I wanted to change that here, I could change this to an alarm zone, change this to non-silenceable, this one to non-silenceable. I can do that by selecting multiple zones. So from the zones list, I just held my control key down and selected multiple zones. So I can either compare and contrast zone characteristics or edit them as I see fit for my particular program. You can quickly and easily print a points list from the points window of the programming software. To do this, make sure a section is highlighted. Also, hide any unused points so that your list just incorporates the points you're using. At the top, you have several icons. The one that I'm hovering over that says print the select to get grid will bring up a print preview of all the points in the list. And then you can send this to a printer. You can also export this to Word or Excel and be able to either filter or edit that points list. Thank you for watching this short video on software shortcuts. For more information, please visit our website www.pottersignal.com.